Hello, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about how we can customize Material UI uh, with React. So you can, uh, you will be actually shown how we can customize the theme and how we can maybe customize the component. So this will be a good starting point for you, and then you can take it further um, and you know to the next level. So to get started, what you can see is I have a React project. Uh, it's pretty standard when you do the npx create react react app uh, There's nothing in it. And then the other thing I've done is I've installed uh, material UI If you want to know how to do that just visit my blog uh, in this link and you will see it how to install it It's simple All right, so what I'll do is I'll come over here and Actually, I'll just get rid of everything and then if I come over here to my package.json, as you can see, I have the React component, sorry, material UI install with Emotion. Emotion is their styling engine. You can use style components, um, but I think there's something with the server side rendering. So you can read up the documentation. I'll uh, share a link in the description. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm using. So uh, it's not bad actually, Emotion. All right, so now that we have gotten rid of that, all right, so the first thing I'll do is I'll come here and I'll create a container and container. There we go. And I'll just hit save so that uh, just get refreshed. Yeah, there we go. I think there's no errors, right? No errors. All right. So I'll the container. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll create a paper to hold my stuff. All right, so I've got my paper. So there's, since there's nothing in it, so that's why we can't see anything. So let's create a couple of input fields, um, like a form, that's what I'm creating, and then we'll add some buttons. All right, so as you can see, I have a paper that's holding all my stuff. And then what I have is just a couple of input fields and a button. So this is pretty uh, standard, the theme, the, the blue color that comes from Material UI. So as you can see, there's that ripple effect. So let's say we want to customize this. Um, there's a couple of ways of doing this. So for small tweaks, you can use the SX utility. Uh, it's very powerful. I really love it. Um, so to get started, let's say I want to add some padding around my form because uh, this is, you know, just uh, to the edge. So you can just do like this, SX equals um, you know, double uh, curly braces. And then I can just say padding and we'll say one REM. And there you go. So pretty quickly, I'm able to add CSS right there. Uh, let's say I want to now modify the um, content uh, container width. So what I can do is I can just do the same thing. I'll come over here and I'll say max width equals to let's say 200 pixel so okay that's very small so that's better now the other thing i want to do is i want to add some margin for this paper on top so i'll say margin top to rem and there you go that pushes it down all right so as you can see that's pretty quickly you can add with this sx utility you can add you know um all these different um you know, properties css properties so now we're gonna go and do a little bit more advanced stuff so let's say i don't like well, first of all i want to change the theme color so as you can see everything is a blue color and then there's that ripple effect i don't like this ripple effect maybe i want to get rid of this so for all my buttons actually so one way of doing this would be you know you will just come here and um you will say you know disable i think it's called disable ripple right now i'll set that to true um, and I'll just save it So the ripple is gone, but let's say if I have a big app and have so many buttons I don't necessarily want to do this. So uh, there's there should be a better way of doing this the other thing is maybe um, On around the corners or maybe I want to make this more flat So of course you can do this through the SX and everything but then you have to keep repeating the same thing over and over again so what we can do is uh, I'm just gonna add some margin top is um yeah we can do th uh, this through theming 
So to get started, what you do is, uh, at least what I do, is I'm gonna come here and create a folder and we'll call it styles. This is where I, I keep all my styles. And then within this folder, I'll create a file called style.js. And this is where we're gonna define our theme, how things will be. So the first thing you want to do is import create theme, small c, because they use camel case. Create theme from, so it comes from um, MUI, material, and styles. All right, that's cool. Now, so I have a bunch of colors that I, you know, uh, as for my theme. So I'm just gonna copy them over yeah, like so. All right, so you don't, wanna, you don't wanna see me typing that. All right, so with that done, then what we can do is create our theme. So what you say is say theme equals, and we'll use that function, create theme. And basically what it is, is you just, uh, you see options. So we'll just pass, pass the options and it is an object. All right, before we forget, let's, uh, you know, export this, shall we? I like it so. All right, so let's start with the color palette. So pretty standard, we'll just say palette and I will define my color. So I'll say type is, uh, let's say, uh, uh, whatever, let's, let's not go with the type. So I'll say primary, you know, for primary, uh, I want to, the main one will be colors.primary, right? And then for secondary, colors dot secondary all right so that's our starting point so now let's see how we can use this so you come over here and this has to be the top top component meaning you have to wrap pretty much your main app within this so that's why i will just come here and i'll say theme provider right and then we will say the theme so the theme is that theme that we created all right so of course we need to bring that but I'm gonna take all of this and shove that right in there and maybe a little bit of, yeah. All right, so now as you can see, it brought this from theme provider, but that's not correct. I think we have to provide this from MUI. What was that one? I think they come from same spot, material styles. Material styles, so that's one. The second thing I need to do is I need to bring that theme, our custom theme that we just created. So I'll say theme from styles, styles. All right, so if I save this and if there are no errors, then things should be working if I refresh. Of course there are errors. Let's take a look. So the color secondary provider is, is invalid. Okay, let's take a look. So if I come here and I take a look, then as you can see the, yeah. That's not how you do it. <laughs> so what we need to do is of course, just like how I did for the other one, I need to properly wrap it like so. I'm gonna save. And of course I need to say that. All right, bingo. So as you can see the color of the button changed. Um, and as you can see also, these also got changed. The, the post line, they were blue, right? So now let's say I want to create another button and I'll just uh, dupe this and I will maybe make this, um, I don't know, secondary. How do you do that through the color thing? Yeah, secondary. Here you go, that's your secondary color, uh, which is right here. So if I change this to, I don't know, uh, FFF, just all white. There you go, so as you can see that works. So that's how you do your theming. You can go to town with this and change whatever colors you like and in case you want to change this so you know it's very convenient you just come here in this one file and change everything lovely all right so now the other thing we want to do is I talked about this button so as I said you know the buttons have this ripple effect and I want to disable this so how do we do this well we just follow the same kind of thing so you come over here in your styles thing and I will create on a folder, I want to create a file. And I'll just call this my button.js. So this is where I'm gonna define all my buttons. Now to actually do the button thing, 
uh, what you do is use the styles utility uh, and that's how you can uh, you know change the button so I'm gonna inherit from the base material UI button uh, because I want to pretty much inherit all the properties of it and then we can override whatever we don't need so how do we do that well pretty simple so we come over here and I'll say my button equals and then I'll say styled all right that's the utility I told you we're gonna use so it keeps bringing from the emotion um, but we don't want to do that so what I can do is I can tell it that hey bring it from MUI material styles styles and you want to do this all right so I have that and then what I'm telling it that take a base component you can obviously do like this if you want to use that div but since we're um, you know inheriting a button so I'll say button all right so it brought that button for us from material UI and then what you can do is you call this function and of course we need to pass in some options all right, so this is just the, uh, if I use this now, it'll be pretty much the same button. And just to prove my point, I can say default my button, all right? I'm gonna save this, nothing will happen because I need to import it. So I'll come over here and I'll say import my button from styles. And we'll say, come on, give it to me, button. And then let's say for one of them, uh, but you know I'm gonna name this cancel just so that we know what's going on so that's cancel and for this one I'll say my button my button all right so as you can see nothing changed because we're pretty much just actually doing the same thing so let's say now that um, I want to you know uh, change this so let's say maybe I want to create a button with a rounded corner. So what you do is you will take this, right? And then you will say, you know, um, rounded button, right? And I'll take my button, right? And the only thing I'll do is I'll say border radius and I'll just set it to 23 pixels, all right? And of course we need to export this export cons rounded button all right so how do we use this well let's say the cancel button is rounded just for some reason so I'll say import rounded button so same deal styles and then my button all right so then I'll just copy this name and I'll come here to this console and let's see if this works beautiful all right, so this way you can create like square buttons, you can create, I don't know, whatever, just go to town with this. You can create so many variations. Now, I think uh, Material UI does come with its own rounded button, but this was just an example to show you what you can do. So now let's go back to that other thing we were talking about that, hey, I don't like this ripple effect and we would like to get rid of it. So with styles, you can only customize the CSS, uh, sorry, right here. Uh, but if you want to change, let's say the, the ripple thing uh, on a global scale, then you have to do it here in the create theme function. So how do we do that? Well, you come here and you can target the component, right? So I'll say components. And then it will ask me, well, which component am I targeting? I'll say the button, right? And then uh, what do I want to change? I want to change props, okay? So I'll say default props. And then what do I want to do? Well, I'll say the ripple thingy. All right, so disable it, true. Now, since we are using the theme provider, so it wraps everything and watch this, the ripple is gone. How cool is this? Now, uh, you must be wondering, well, how, how the hell did you get all this info? So let me just show you that. All right, so one thing, uh, if you understand your documentation and where to find things, uh, Material UI is actually one of the best, um, in my opinion. It's, it's very easy to use. So if I go to, let's say, Component API, and I scroll down to Button. Right, so here they're telling you that the, the name, Component name, the name MUI button can be used when providing default props or style overrides. That's exactly what I've done. So I'm saying that, you know, um, I'm just using that name, MUI button. And then how do we 
how do you actually access these um, props? Well, they're telling you default props. So when you go to your component, so let's say with a button and then you just use that name and that's how you target pretty much anything you want. So I hope this was helpful and now you will be able to customize pretty much anything in Material UI you want and it's not that uh, daunting or challenging. Um, again, please like and subscribe and uh, I have a link, uh, in my, I mean I'll provide a link to my blog where I talk about different UI frameworks that you can use. So I'll be it for now. Bye.